as you see lots of persons with dementia, I think a thought that keeps coming back is what if one day you do have dementia as well, you know, and, and how would I be? My name is Boon Yao, and um, I'm a family physician by training. I have additional training in geriatric medicine. I've been in St. Luke's for the last 21 years, and since 2016, I've taken over the position of uh, being the Chief Executive Officer as well. I was exposed to St. Luke's when they were actually fundraising to build this hospital. I was a medical student and uh, they were looking out for volunteers. So that's when I started to volunteer my time. I was um, sent by St. Luke's Hospital to Melbourne, Australia to do further training in what we call community geriatrics. Australia was um, really advanced at a time more than 20 over years ago. Uh, in focusing care in the community. They would send teams to the patients' homes. They worked together uh, in a multidisciplinary fashion with not only just the doctors, but the nurses, the therapists, the social workers, and trying to look at um, care from the perspective of the patient. So I think that, um, that's really great, not just looking at caring for the disease, but really the person behind the disease. Uh, felt that we could do it uh, in Singapore as well. So we started the first ward, um, caring for persons with dementia. In the beginning, patients may be sitting outside the wards and those who had challenging behaviours, they were screaming and they were making lots of noises. If we can really reach out, change their behaviour by understanding them, by prescribing certain medications that will help calm them down, um, it can make a difference. You know? So I think it's it was convincing the various stakeholders of the need for this care uh, to be trained in it and then better offer that care to the patients that we look after. And we wanted to create an environment that the patient can be comfortable with. This is a garden as you can see behind me. Uh, we have what we call horticulture therapy. We have a space as well where we set up for uh, art and music therapy. So beyond the medical care that we offer, we really wanted to ensure that the patient is engaged with music, with art, with plants. Um, it kind of brings them up alive again. My own mother-in-law was um, diagnosed with um, dementia itself. It was interesting because she started presenting with a lot of rashes, you know, around her eyes. Uh, we, we actually found out that she was using this, those death hall that we used to clean cabinets and floor to actually wash her face. And as we start of unpacking um, her other, you know, kind of daily routines, we realise that actually she is losing her memory, right? Not able to make good judgement and hence she uses wrong solutions for the care of her face. Initially, obviously, it was very difficult for the family as they get frustrated and they say, why is mom like this? But as we begin to understand her as a person and the challenges that she faced, I think that the family actually rallied together the personhood of the person with dementia doesn't change. I mean, I trained to be a doctor but not a CEO. Uh, so we then started a journey of learning, uh, talking to people that have been through this experience, uh, various mentors that I, I knew, reading up as well. Looking after the health of an organisation rather than just the health of a patient. I felt that actually being a doctor helped in that, you know, problem solving, it's, it's about finding the diagnosis, right? What is the root cause of the problem? Uh, we apply the treatment and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then we go back again to say, hey, what's the underlying cause? Have we made something? The collectively thing and be able to learn to fish right? and rather than be providing that fish all the time. Dementia is a disease that multiplies the older you get. So every after 65, the prevalence would double up. We actually recorded a film called Always Mother with a view to educate the public as well. Uh, what is it like, the plight of dementia patients, what care options they have uh, once a person has got dementia. One of my um, wish really is, is really looking at prevention because the causes of dementia is related to diseases that can cause stroke, that can cause um, brain damage. Right? So if we can do that prevention through good diet, through exercise, um, I think we can kind of shift the curve right? and, and perhaps have a lower incidence of dementia compared to the world in Singapore.